Star Nicola Coughlin wants her mother to not watch any of the upcoming passionate scenes between Colin Bridgerton and Penelope Featherington in Bridgerton. The Netflix series features a sultry new installment starring Coughlin and co-star Luke Newton. Considering the show's fondness for sensuality and sex scenes, the actress may have taken the luxury of asking for a trimmed-down version for family viewings. I am not doing that, so I've requested a PG version for my mommy, the 37-year-old actress stated on Ireland's Today FM on Wednesday. Nah, 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 nah. Newton stated that he didn't think he could watch the second episode with his mother, and Coughlin responded, Nope, I won't, in agreement. She made a joke about how her mother would see a much shorter version of the novel, which sees Penelope and Colin's long-awaited love story come to pass. It will last roughly five minutes, joked 31-year-old Newton. Although Coughlin will be taking the major role in the medieval romance series for the first time in season three, which will air in two parts this spring, she also revealed to the Irish radio station that she has removed scenes from earlier seasons of Bridgerton. Even in season one, my mother and I missed some scenes. That was a brief episode, she said, and I responded, yeah, it was. On Wednesday, a sneak peek revealed that Penelope had finally set her longtime pal and unrequited crush, Colin, straight. In the video, she confronts the heir to Bridgerton over disparaging remarks he made to his friends that she heard during season two. Colin remarks on Penelope's clothing but she abruptly ends their conversation with a good night, Mr. Bridgerton, leaving him to wonder whether there's something wrong. Penelope responds, I embarrass you, to Colin's request to talk about this somewhere more private, dismissing his suggestion. You would never court me, of course. Even when I change my entire attire, I'm the joke of the group. I simply never thought that someone like you could be so harsh. The season is really special and it stays very true to the books, Coughlin said in June to People, alluding to romancing Mr. Bridgerton, the fourth installment of Julia Quinn's Bridgerton family saga. This is how I always see the three seasons. Season one was, in my opinion, about passion, season two was about longing, and season three is, in my opinion, all about romance, the speaker stated. It's simply very romantic. There were numerous occasions on set when we would film something and turn around to find everyone kind of clutching their chest and saying, oh my god. That was the nature of the affection. After being outed as Lady Whistledown to her best friend Eloise, Claudia Jessie, who also happens to be Colin's younger sister, Penelope finds herself socially stuck at the start of the season. She makes the decision to take control of her own life without the companionship and encouragement of her pals. Her character is, sort of like, I can't do this anymore, according to Coughlin. My companion is Eloise. Colin and I are out together. My family is not who I want to be with. I require a husband. It's as though she's a woman on a mission. She's prepared to take a fresh approach and introduce herself to the marriage market. She is granted her wish for a completely new appearance. Get the best of people from celebrity news to gripping human interest stories, sent straight to your inbox by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. Bridgerton Season 3 will debut in two parts, the first on May 16 and the second on June 13. Netflix is currently offering streaming for Bridgerton's first two seasons as well as its spin-off Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story.